Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. The only show where being slightly above average is still a small. It's small. Do you have a measuring tape to measure just how small? No, but I'm sure they do because they're in their mom's basement commenting on our video right now. About how we're terrible grifter. So what's a grifter? Please explain. Well, first, let's give them a little bit of insight into what this video is going to be about. Oh, I would love to know because I don't. Topics for today, grifting. That's topic number one. Hero worship and a Mike Glover update. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brandon Herrera's congressional campaign and how his opponent is basically doing all of the work for him. Okay. And I haven't finished the video yet. I was watching it out there. Um, he released the AK-50 today. It's a project he's been working on for years. Brandon he's, Herrera? Yeah. He, he, you know, machined and manufactured the only ever, it's the first one. It's not like a replica. Designed it from the ground up, developed it, everything from the ground up, AK-50. Do you think that it will hurt or help his campaign? Uh, he's in Texas, it'll help. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah. The AK-50, uh, we've got some comments to read. You haven't seen any of them. No, I haven't. Mm. Mm. Chef's kiss. You guys, are, as, as you guys are so shitty that you gave us amazing content. As we've talked about several times, I'm not on personal social media, no. so I don't see any of these. He is in charge of all of our social media account. Yeah. So, so the this, other, is, this will be a the other hero, brand new reaction. The other hero oh. worshiping story that's... Oh, God. Really, the Rock. I don't know if you've heard. He's what? In, he's, what? He's, uh, he's on his downward spiral. People hero worship The Rock? Well, yeah. I mean, he's rich and famous, and they want to be like him. They want to look like but him. You want me to look like him. How? Just not bald. It, in what world is he a hero? Other than... Hero worship has nothing to do with military. Other than Disney. Or Disney. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's when you pick a celebrity of any kind. Okay. And and he was from and what WWE him. or something. He's also an actor. He's been in... No, no, no. I understand, but wh- how he made a start. Uh, college football. What? I mean, he wasn't famous at that point. He got famous after. And now people talk about it all the time. But okay, this is news to me. So yeah, he's um he's having a hard time right now on social media. So what happened? Lo- losing like. Tens of thousands, hundreds. What of happened? Just everything over the last couple of years. Uh, the we're going to start backwards. Okay, he uh, made a post. I guess like three. No, I'm sorry. 2017, 2016. He made a post uh, taking a selfie in an In and Out drive-through. First time I've ever been in and out. Can't wait to try it. Blah blah. blah. Okay. He's already accused of being a walking billboard. They're not even calling him The Rock anymore. They're calling Dwayne the Ad Johnson. Oh. So. Okay. He takes that picture. Okay. Says it's his first time ever. Okay. okay. A couple years later, 2020, he takes another picture or takes a video with some In-N-Out food and once again says, this is the first time I'm, I'm ever trying In-N-Out. I hope it's good. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Pause. Then just pause, this year. Pause. Pause. Okay. Do you genuinely think he's being an asshole and just trying to recirculate? Or is there possible brain trauma and he genuinely doesn't remember? There's a third time. Oh, okay. Just happened. Okay. Like last month. Or, yeah, last month. I'm trying to think what month this is. Okay. The same line. Okay. And does he exclusively control his social media or does he have an account manager? Because. Don't know. But. He goes and creates content all the time, apologizing for his other content. Okay. But he's never thrown anybody else in. He's never said, my team posted that I'm sorry. Right. But he says, I'm sorry that I did that. Like, and they're also saying that, okay, dude, like for you to flip-flop anytime you get a little bit of bad press, you clearly don't have any opinions that are your own. Right. You're just... Trying to tag along to whatever the but beat three is in times culture. going to In and Out for the first time, yeah, yeah. in so he, five so years. He, so he updated the most recent Instagram because everybody on Instagram is like, "Dude, you just posted 
the same words almost. Okay. You, it, you literally said, first time ever going in and out. Right, I hope it's right. good. Which something. I've never been. Well, we don't even live near one. <laughs> we don't even live. I think, I think them, both they and White, not White Castle. Or uh, California. Well, you have In-N-Out and Whataburger. Those are the two. Okay. They're trying to, White Castle's trying to expand too. Um, and I saw something about Bojangles and I'm like, well, we already have Bojangles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like Bojangles is definitely a Southeast I wouldn't even I wouldn't even go to either of them anyways. Because, I mean, when's the last time I got a fast food cheeseburger? Have I, I don't know. Have one since I've been with you? I'm sure you did a lot of things when you were a single guy, though. No, that you don't do now, I would at least hope. I can't even remember the last time I went to a McDonald's at all. I have no idea. Like, I'll go to Subway. Yes. Jimmy John's. You, you dream about some Subway. They just, the sandwich Whatever. that I have made, they're Disgusting. just disgusting. Kind of Food the, poisoning all the right on flavors. Know, a bun. This, so you think. And my ice already melted. That's how, that's how warm the whiskey so, was. I was going to say how also how warm the lights are. No, We're they, being cooked just, under here. Um, I am. You're not. You, it's you, Friday, guys. Yeah. It's so, basically five o'clock here. Right. We're just going backwards. So hopefully you watch the intro so you know where to find. I mean, you'll find the timeline, the whatever you call it, the chapters, the YouTube chapters okay. or Spotify. But I didn't even realize that when I uploaded all of our stuff to Spotify, I noticed that it does. When I put the chapter markers in there, it does work. Didn't too. you tell me something a couple weeks ago about how The Rock was getting canceled because he shit on girls? They, I don't know. They were, was it The Rock? That's what you told me. So I'm just, I don't know. Spewing v- verbal diarrhea of what you told me. Who knows? Anyways, going back to the mm-hmm. topics. Okay. Uh, actually, we're not going to do the video comments right now. If going truly backwards, we'll hold that for after we talk about my Glover because okay, they go hand. In they hand. go hand in hand. These are people dying for him. Yeah, gotcha. So uh, the Brandon Herrera, okay, congressional thing. Okay, please his, enlighten me. His opponent, Tony Gonzalez, the the district that they're running for is basically all of the state's border with Mexico. Okay. So obviously border control is a big problem Mm -hmm. or big topic, Mm -hmm. and it is a big problem, Um, as well as other things. He's uh, Tony has been censured by the Texas state GOP for basically voting against everything party lines, just holding everything up and then blaming everybody else. So he's what people call a rhino. Republican in name only. You and I kind of started talking about this the other night when I was talking about definitions, like what I am politically, what you are politically, what the actual definition is versus how they're used. Okay. People will just, people will jump out and say Democrats and Republicans, Mm -hmm. but there are definitions to those words and neither the Democrats or the Republicans are the definitions of the words that they're supposedly within the party of. Okay. And people calling us a democracy, we all learned that that wasn't true in elementary school. We're a republic. We we vote for people to vote on our behalf as our representatives. Mm-hmm. In a true democracy, every person would vote on everything. Okay. When you so go- back to Brandon versus okay. no name guy. Okay. So... He's voted against the party multiple times. Basically, uh, Brandon got pissed. Obviously, a lot of people have gotten pissed off. How many times has somebody said, I'm going to run for office in X, Y, and Z? You have. Yeah. But what I'm saying is he's actually doing it, and he has the money to do it. And he's got mm-hmm. the, the people, you know, uh, angry cops and donut, both veterans, both cops. So every They're time. They're two different people? Yeah. I had no idea. Wow. I had no idea there were two different people. I'm sorry. They don't even look the same. I've never seen them. You just talk about them. And I thought when you were talking about them, it was one and the same person. Every time he makes a uh, video saying, oh, Brandon doesn't support. Brandon is not a veteran, but his parents are. Or one of his parents is. I'm not sure. Uh, So they're like, he doesn't support veteran issues. He's a... You know, taking all these clips out of context, 
there is one clip that they took perfectly out of context where Brandon proceeds what he's going to say with, and I'm sure this will be taken out of context, but it's a joke. And he's okay. making fun of veterans. And they clipped that exact clip and they've been using it in their smear campaign against him. Okay. And it's been backfiring the entire time. Because all of his YouTube buddies are coming to bat for him. Yeah. Basically every, not even YouTube, every veteran but what about, media influencer. But, but, but what about people like me who aren't on YouTube, who aren't on social media? He's, that's He's trying to appeal to the veteran demographic. And the veteran demographic watches those creators. Okay. So. Okay. And they're all on those platforms. He's posting this on Twitter, on Facebook, et cetera. Again, you have to be on social media to see all of that. So right. I'm. Right. And they, they know the numbers. Okay. Um, I, I, Tony's been losing ground the entire time. The, uh, the actual, the, the primary a couple months ago when he forced this runoff election. Okay. He had, I think there were six, I believe, people on the, the ballot. Tony was the incumbent. And then Brandon had the most of all of the others. So essentially, you probably can't just assume that all of the votes that weren't for Tony would automatically go to Brandon, but a lot of them will. Because they, they clearly voted for somebody that wasn't the incumbent. They know who the incumbent is. So they don't want the incumbent anymore. So those votes, by default, are probably going to go to Tony. Then you have people, Brandon wasn't really, I don't want to say he wasn't campaigning, but he wasn't, he wasn't actively being targeted by his opponent, which now he is. Mm -hmm. So every single thing on social media and YouTube is about what a dirtbag Tony Gonzalez is. Okay. So he is, he's effectively spending his marketing, advertising budget, campaign budget helping Brandon people Brandon's a known quantity nationally Tony is barely known in his Locally. congressional district district yeah he has when I last looked he had like 25,000 followers which that's huge compared to us mm -hmm. but for a sitting congressman right and then for everything that they post on social media they get like four likes 25,000 followers Clearly, people are only following you. Do you follow anybody no. in politics? Brandon. <laughs> I meant before Brandon. Uh, I don't. I don't believe so. Um, I know I follow somebody who is a. Uh, what's it called? The people with the money. They're not in Congress. The people with the yeah. money. Yeah. That is so I specific. Follow, I follow the people with the money. But anyway, you're welcome. I will be interested to see you taking the social media battle to the actual election ballot. They're only a couple days away. Right. So I am in, days away. I am We're interested to hear what comes of it. Yeah. Because again, people like me who are not on social media are not seeing or hearing any of this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I and I don't think, to the best of my knowledge, I don't believe he's spending any meaningful amount of money. He hasn't mm -hmm. talked about, and I, they do have to disclose it, I believe. Because if you're running any campaigns on social media, you do have to market and all that stuff. Gotcha. So, and, and it has to be disclosed that this is like campaign money. All, all platforms make you do it. You have to do it for tax purposes. So it'll come out. If you were to say, no, I haven't run it, they would, it would come out if he did. Right. So I don't know if he does or not. I haven't looked. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Okay. So let me know whenever yeah. it happens. So the AK 50. Okay. What is it? Brings us back to the freedom, freedom boner. <laughs> oh my gosh. So is that what you want to be on your shirt? The AK 50. Mm -hmm. No, I can't steal his design. He probably has it in some way, shape or form trademarked or copyrighted for. So then why are you saying it takes you back to freedom boner? Because, it gives you a freedom boner? Yeah, because seeing it, I was like... Yeah. Oh, my God. So then why didn't you fuck me after if it gave you a little boner? You got back and you immediately had the... Oh, you just, you just the saw it over. right the now. Video, the video's not over. I was uh, watching... Oh, I'm trying... Have you taken your medicine today? Yes. he's He launched the video today at noon, Central Time, 1 o'clock our time. I had just started watching it when you pulled up from your meeting. 
Gotcha. Okay. So I haven't finished watching it yet. Moving right along. Moving it's right along. It is badass. If you haven't seen the video, it, I'm sure you've seen the video. It already has like a half a million views. It's been off for like two hours. Okay. Three hours, maybe. Yeah. Three hours. Half a million views. Okay. Don't you wish? It'd be hard to make them when you're in Congress, though. This content will probably slow down. That'll suck for mm-hmm. him for when he leaves office. Trying to return back to it after that dip. Mm-hmm. I mean, like the guys from Epic Mealtime, they completely converted Epic Mealtime, the channel, to a podcast. Mm-hmm. And they don't have anywhere near the numbers that they did when they were just doing six, ten minute long videos of them smashing together the craziest concoction of fast food and bacon. And why did they have to do that? They didn't have to. They just hardly saw the writing on the wall that they couldn't do what they were doing forever. Both health-wise and numbers-wise, it just wasn't, nobody was watching anymore. Nobody was searching for that anymore. That had run its course. So it's a podcast about food? That's where I found out about that cow. What's from that? What cow? That gigantic four million dollar cow i have no idea what you're talking we about sat, we sat at the table with the kids that white ugly ass looking cow that sold for four million dollars at auction oh this was months ago oh my god weeks. i'm no that was like months ago weeks that was months ago no no it was during the time that we had this podcast we have only had this podcast that was for like, like six months weeks. ago six weeks is how long we've had this it was weeks ago anyway Mm-hmm. all right what's next all right the definition of grifting. Okay, Talk please, please enlighten me. What because, is grifting? So actually, so I used to have one word that I loved educating what? people on, ignorant. Because people try to use ignorant interchangeably with stupid or unintelligent. That's not what the word means at all. And the fact that you're using it incorrectly is even more funny. Being ignorant means you're ill-informed. It means you do not have the information or knowledge. It has nothing to do with anybody's intelligence at all. You could be the smartest. You could be Einstein, and you could be ignorant to basketball. See? So to be ignorant is to be ill-informed. It has nothing to do with intelligence. Stop using it incorrectly because it makes me laugh at you. Every time you're like, oh, you're ignorant. Oh, am I? I'm the one that's informed, you are ill-informed, and you're using the word incorrectly, Sue, you are ill-informed twice. Grifting, okay? The definition is, <clears throat> grifting refers to someone, or cheating someone out of money through deception or fraud. It's basically a synonym for scamming people. Uh, the breakdown of the term, grifting is an act of dishonestly acquiring money. Noun, a grift is a scheme or method to cheat someone out of money. Grifters typically use lies, manipulation, or false premises to trick their victims. They might sell something useless, exploit someone's trust, or convince them to uh, of a fake situation. And this would pertain to us. That's what they were trying to say, that we're grifters. Well, we're first of all, about Mike Glover's arrest. we are not monetized, so we make zero dollars. Yeah. So we're not cheating anybody out of money because we make zero dollars and you're not paying us anyways yeah and the way that you defeat the content that you don't want to see is by not watching by not watching it and not commenting on it because by commenting on it and watching it you're you're pushing it to other people exactly so i'm i'm just trying to follow the logic and not following it's a misused term they heard it somewhere grifter's gonna grift is what you told me that they said That's one of them. There's a couple that have popped up. I mean, Multiple grifting? Yeah, between the the shorts and the full video. Hmm. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't apply no. at all no. in any way, shape, or form. No. Okay. So, next. Yeah. So, we're just going to laugh at you for both. That's just what's going to happen. I'm just going to laugh at you. Let's go to the comments section. Because Ooh. that's, I'm going to read the comments to you, and then you can give your genuine reaction, reaction. or lack of, or okay. excessive, whichever direction. Well, he told going. me the one, grifter's going to grift. Yeah, I think that, and was, that was like that two, was a little short, I believe. Okay. He told me that like two days ago and was like, hey, do you know what grifters are? I, was like, I just no. asked, I asked specifically because I wanted to see if I was going to 
present something new to you mm -hmm. or if it was going to be a waste of time. Uh, okay, so here's the comments. Okay. They're in order from newest at the time. Is of this the episode or the short? The episode. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, not a fan of Glover, but everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Let's wait until the end of the trial. Okay, okay. diplomatic. We never said he was guilty. Okay. Yeah, we just read the police report. Yep. That was it. Uh, looks like you can get a date visiting strip clubs. What? They're talking about you. What? Yeah, you're a stripper. I thought they were what? <laughs> what? Yeah. And I said, "Oh, poor guy, can't pull an attractive woman. I'll be sad for you." Oh my god! What? I was trying to figure out how it pertained to Mike Glover and his girlfriend. This, this is the comments on that video. I'm only reading the comments on that video. Right. Yeah. So I was trying to pretend. What? Maybe, maybe he did. Maybe Mike got his girlfriend from a strip club since she's she's 18 years. Right. That's now. what. That's what I was trying to. Yeah. How does it pertain to me? They're watching a video with you in it and probably don't know who Mike's girlfriend is. Black, okay. Black Rifle Coffee Company sign. How appropriate. Okay. And? Just people being butthurt about Black Rifle again. Okay. Next. Uh, she, Steve, yeah, she needs to stop staring at you while you talk. Wow. Looks Oops. like you get about 100 views on average per video. So you have beef with Mike and take advantage of a low spot in his life for 2K clicks. Quality. Parasitical, pathetic, block me. Um, I don't have a beef with Mike. Okay. He said that he blocked me. We for have... saying and question mark. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, one guy with a uh, demon has his profile picture said, Pastor is just the American English version of parish priest that is used all over Europe for Catholic Mass. Oh, and the devil said thank, this. Thank you for clarifying. And you're actually the only person to answer the question that we actually asked yeah. in the episode, which was, please explain yeah. what the difference is. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. I still don't really understand because we're not church people. So thank you. These are three comments back to back from the okay. same person. Okay. Same person. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. You can be charged with a crime without being held uh, to face your accuser. There's no punctuation. I'm reading as it is. Okay. Face your accuser. Seen somebody convicted of a DV. The injured person doesn't wish to. The state will try to do everything possible, but whatever. Who cares? What a mess. Do you even have a podcast about this? Is insane. Yeah, I'm having a stroke. Reading. Yeah. Why what? get Why get involved? What? Oh, okay. So there was then, one question in there. Why okay. get involved? Okay. No, that's the second comment. Then, Jesus, what's this pod? cast two separate words yeah this this <laughs> okay. will work perfectly for you guys wow is this like talk to text I, translating I from know. a different language no, there was a guy that i did ask i was like are you drunk or is this te uh, text to speech to text and he said no i'm driving it's speech to text that was so, the he, guy on 40. so he so admit he different guy different guy he admitted to texting and driving he was doing speech to text so not really any but I'm not okay. It's the same thing as giving a command in your steering wheel to change the music. Okay. Anyways. Funerals happen pretty quick uh, in the interest of freshness and closure, closure, but not always, I guess, especially a foul play, but I missed some of the details. Oh, that's regarding yeah, the, the second. The only person. No, I think there are actually two. Only two people that talked about the South Carolina. Right. Uh, holy tits. That's, that's it. Yep. That's it. Yep. Mm. Yep. I'm just gonna take a sip. Oh, I can make uh like the the thing in Brazil. The the Jesus what thing is that's holy tits. What? Put your face on it. Oh. oh. <laughs> there we go. No, there's your shirt. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying a sign to go behind us. Oh, that'd be good too. Oh my goodness. Okay. He's wrong. She's right. In quotes. Explains everything and is embarrassing. If she threatened self-harm and possibly to harm the kid, grabbing her wrist was justified. Also, you wouldn't wait if you called the cops in that situation. Your kid would be in immediate danger, innocent until proven guilty. Oh my God. They obviously didn't listen to a word they, that we said. For one, it says in the police report that they had had the argument and were separated and then he stormed back up there. He had plenty of time to call. Mm -hmm. 
And we you, said in the podcast that he could have called after the fact. You call you before you, she even went to the hospital. Call in the action of, hey, I gotta go. I'm kicking this door down right, right now. My girlfriend's starting. Or I just yeah. kicked the door down. I'm so calling on my. It kind of feels like he doesn't actually care about her. Mm. The way that he or she claims that one of them, I don't remember which, doesn't fucking matter. One of them claimed that he said that he was leaving her. So it sounds like there's some manipulation in there. It sounds like mm-hmm. whatever. I believe you told me it was on her end. Possibly. That I, I just reread know. it again last night okay. and it was late and now I'm trying to remember which part of because mm-hmm. there's so much of it that does align perfectly in mm-hmm. both their stories okay so i don't know if that specific detail is in both or not gotcha but he did go on a ramble blaming her mental health like if it's not documented that story is not going to help you right even if it's true which is exactly what i said yeah. is it documented i don't know and that's unless she has a criminal history because of it it's not going to come up mm-hmm. there's no way right for anybody to legally obtain that information right. so hipaa it'll it'll have to come up in court i'm sure mm-hmm. what medication she might be taking the doctor mm-hmm. coming in on her behalf or mm-hmm. his behalf or whatever mm-hmm. yeah there's a million different things that could go on there um yeah okay the name of the podcast is disgusting oh wow he was talking somebody else was like there's nothing wrong with it He's like naming, oh, that's the ignorant guy. Let me expand this. I said, laugh my ass off. What would you call it? And then Florida Man Rambles says, I don't see any issues with the title of the video. And then he comes back and says, he's right, she's wrong. The opposite is merely ignorant because women have always been wrong since they used emotions to make judgments. And then he tells, what? And then he tells Florida Man, because you're a simp. Simp for who? A, a startup YouTube channel? <laughs> and uh, I said, you're literally sitting here in the comments simping for Mike and calling someone who pulled the docket a simp for a small startup podcast. Stop it. Get some help. Wow. And he says, stating the caption is ignorant. Stating the caption is ignorant isn't simping for whoever Mike is, idiot, with an exclamation point instead of an I. Uh, you must have a learning curve. And I said, ah, so you don't know that you're ignorant. The word ignorant means ill-informed. It has nothing to do with intelligence. I have remedied your ignorance. That was eight hours ago. He hasn't responded. And he put Mike in quotation marks. Yeah. So therefore doesn't even know who he's he either, responding he to. He doesn't know who Mike is or he's the other person talking about the South Carolina case. Like he came in here that angry about his pastor and called a person supporting us a simp we have 122 followers simp harder uh i did i give her the meat stick with all due respect who some the whitest guy ever and then no, he, no. he commented who would... he, the same guy i couldn't figure out i knew that he had left another comment the same guy commented on yesterday's video and said if i had to listen to uh bow bow bergdahl and his porn star tits out girlfriend or something like that, I'd kill myself, basically is what he said. I have no so, idea what you're talking about. Bal Bergdahl was a deserter. He was deployed in Afghanistan with the army, deserted his post, was captured by the Taliban, blah, blah, blah. Basically, he's a piece of shit. He was trying to say that I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. What the fuck is happening? Now you know. Uh, the Glover thing went, make a ripple. Or, no, I'm sorry. The Glover thing went S Ripple. What is what it's is so happening? It's so hard to read. You guys is fucking terrible. Comments. Yeah. What is what? what is happening? Like how? Ca- what what words Mike, were those? Mike is the company, so I doubt anything will change. He's not guilty until he's found guilty. Let him to go to court. Okay. Okay. That's the guy that was driving. Okay. One forty. So that tells us he was somewhere between here and L.A. Okay. We're right off of 42. A lot of slander towards Mike, comma. 
Slinger? No. Slander. Slander? Yeah. So another person that doesn't know yeah. the definition. What did, what did we say that was slanderous? Nothing. We yeah. stated facts yep. that were on the police report. Yep. We did not say anything slanderous. Yep. Uh, he's screwed. Let's just put that out there, LOL. He went from having everything to having no guns, no fun, and in jail real quick, fast, and in a hurry. That's a good summary. Yep. And then our longtime subscriber. Oh, yeah? Yep. Good gut instinct. Yep. Right? By the way, she's so gorgeous. I don't know if she was talking about you, about Mike's girl, or Mika. I don't know. No idea. And then she said good morning. That's good, all the, good morning to you, too. That's all the comments that aren't in a thread. That's the main upper tier comments. Okay. First tier, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I so... I guess I might as well pull up the uh, comments from the other video then, right? The short? The short? Yeah. Okay, yes. Please tell me. All right. Give me one second. Let me pull these up. I'm ready. We are at 31 minutes. Yes, we're good on time. We can go through all these. We started getting more comments too, so those might not even be the freshest ones. People, okay. People came back out of the woodwork today after work. To, oh, like, yeah? Now I have some time. Let me go comment. <laughs> So the initial short, which is now over 6,000 views. Okay. Innocent until proven guilty. Okay. His truth, her truth, and somewhere in between is the real to truth. Comment edited. Okay. Um, now we'll see who his real friends are. I mean, that is true. Yeah. Details matter. A lot of details to consider in the police report. Yes, that is also always true. You need to check your facts and update yourself. We literally read off the facts. He broke her wrist. You must have the video showing the incident that no one is aware of. What incident? What are you talking about? Him breaking her wrist. No, no, no. You said... he. I'm reading the comment as they're written. I'm reading you comments. I'm not giving any any other words or context. Yes, I know that. Me. He broke her wrist. You must have the video showing the incident that no one is aware of, is the comment. He's right, she's wrong. Ah, we still don't know what happened. Why don't we wait and see? Should probably focus more on context rather than cleavage shots for the camera. A lot of slander. The same guy from the other video. Wow. She likely had it coming. Rude. That was rude. Just, well, you already knew that comment, though, so you weren't going to spit. Uh, this channel is trash. Let me Facts. hit the like button on your comment, buddy. What did she do? Those are all the main thread comments and everything. From there, turned into arguments and, and people playing semantic games and throwing words around that they don't know the definition of. What's the, um, what's that movie? Was that Princess Bride? When he's like, I don't think that word means what you think it means. I have no idea. I never saw Princess Bride. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what that's from. It's an old movie. You know what we didn't do at the beginning of this episode? So I'm going to have to cut it in right now and put it in the beginning. Our intro? Yeah. Well, no, we did the intro. It was being slightly above average. Mm. But I didn't plug our sponsors. Mm. Nonafelps.com. Give you some insurance in North Carolina, South Carolina. She can't help it if you're murdered because she doesn't do life insurance. But outside of that, you're you're good. If you get into a car wreck and you die, you're covered. As long as you have adequate coverage. Yeah, the correct adequate coverage and you pay. Yes, that's very important. They're not going to pay out if you don't pay yeah. them. Then uh, America's Technology Center of Excellence, Lee Max Media, LeeMaxMedia.com. Got you covered in all your technology stuff, web development, IT, hosting, everything. If you can hear the dog licking her gooch, sorry about that. It's <laughs> a terrible word. Gooch? Ugh. Is that worse for you than moist? I've never had a problem with moist. Really? I'm pretty sure you should know that by now. They don't know that, though, so I'm asking you the question to prompt yeah, you. To I have no problem it. with moist, but just the word gooch is just. What about taint? It's like trashy. What about taint? I mean, taint is a thing, so it doesn't. I don't have 
problem with it. I don't know that it's. You an have a booger an... hanging out of your nose, by the way. You should mm. probably take care of that. No, I don't know that it's an anatomical term, though. Mm. Okay. Do we have anything else in this episode? This is kind of a short episode. We should probably keep talking. Or do you want to cut it short? I thought we were continuing to talk about Mike Lover. Okay, we can continue to talk about him. I thought that's what you told me we, we were doing. We do have some potential pending information that we're not going to talk about because we're not grifters. Mm -hmm. We will wait until the actual information comes out, just like we did with the police report. Same thing. People are still going to get barred, but mm -hmm. whatever. Um, yeah. It, if... What my inside man says is true. Doesn't look good at all for Mike. I don't see how. Okay, let's let's run. Why through don't the, you talk about the statement? About there's a link to that, and I'll put it in the link. The I'll put the link to in this description as well to so that entire Twitter thread. Mm -hmm. Um, she gave a character witness statement in favor of Mike from Ohio. She WebEx conference in, so I don't know if that's where her family's from oh. or what, but she was in Ohio mm -hmm. during this WebEx. Okay. And this was his uh, pretrial hearing determining whether or not he was going to get bond bail, whatever, on Monday. Mm -hmm. And, or I'm sorry, this was Tuesday that she was on. He had the, the hearing on Monday, was released, I believe, and then Tuesday she was heard. All the details are there. Timestamps, links, documents, everything is in the in the Twitter thread. It's ridiculously long, but it's extremely comprehensive, and it's the only place you're gonna find all of it in one place. It's not our thread. It's a Twitter user that I ended up following because of this, and uh, he seems to have all the information. He bought. He actually bought the information from the Utah state of Utah. Oh wow! I guess they have. A he is invested. Yeah, they have a portal where you can go and and buy the stuff. So. Anyways, go check out his uh, his thread. It'll be in the in the description, so you can go find it and follow along. But she gave a statement saying that, I'm paraphrasing, that Mike was a good guy, and that he's a great father, and that she just wants for them to be able to be at home together, raising their kids. This was after he had made multiple calls to force her. Yeah. So if I'm the judge. Cool. Thanks for the statement. After we already know what happened. Mm -hmm. And the well documented yeah. phone calls. Yeah. So that's it's an uphill battle no matter what. If he would have never made those phone calls, mm -hmm. he probably gets a favorable judge because he's a known quantity. It's an election season. They're in a conservative state. You know, some advocate is going to come out on his behalf and try and fund, if he's not able to fund it himself, which I'm sure he is, uh, his defense. They're going to say you can't take away some of its, you know, staple of the industry and, you know, all that. But now, it doesn't matter what side of the line you're on. Because the state is stepping in. Yeah, and they don't need her anymore because mm -hmm. they already know that she can and has been manipulated right so even if his story is right he shot himself in the foot so multiple times and as we said in the other video unless he was actively or unless she was actively doing harm or killing the child it doesn't matter why he broke her arm and kicked down the door in front of a child. The why does not matter unless she was actively drowning, stabbing, hitting, choking, or otherwise abusing this child. More details will come out. The uh, The defense asked for five week trial or a uh, trial in five weeks. Okay. So whether or not that gets moved, I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. Follow along. When we get more information, we'll make sure that we make another episode about it. And I'll make sure that it's as grifty as possible. Oh, my goodness. To get as many of you to come back and leave all of your little comments from your mommy's basement. Yeah. I'm so sad that my hero is being talked about. 
what they, that's what you sound like. Especially when you can't type. Like, hello. This is Willow, for those that have never met her before. This is Doggy Diarrhea Dog from yep. the last episode, yep. Yep. in case you guys don't know. Yep. She was a rescue. She was uh, picked up by PD after being what we believe is both physically abused and neglected. She's still tiny. She's never really... She was emaciated when we got her. You could see every bone in her body, her face. Like you could, she was basically a skeleton that had skin suction cups to it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, now two years later almost, mm -hmm. she's this thing. Mm -hmm. She's both unintelligent and very intelligent at the same time. Right now she just wants to play really bad. Mm -hmm. And we can't play because we're podcasting. Is there anything else that we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. No, that's our crime episode. Mm -hmm. Or our... our our Glover update. Glover update. We gotta, it's gotta be, we gotta come up with some sort of phrase for that. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, actually, one more thing that I did want to talk about was um, Rob putting out the statement on that's, Fieldcraft. That's what I was telling you to uh, talk about. I thought you were talking about the statement no. that she gave no, on his behalf. I was not. So, I mean, it was straight up written by the attorney copy pasted onto Fieldcraft's website and then Rob's signature on the end. And there is no, there's no value in that to your customers. There's no value in that to the people that aren't yet your customers and would have potentially become your customers. What that looks like is um, we still want to make money and Mike is how we make money. So we're just going to say, please leave him alone until the trial is over. You have fucked. That's, it's pathetic. It's fucking pathetic. It's exactly what that is. And you know it fucking is. And so does the fucking population. Except right. for the percentage that are. Yeah. All the, the, the grifter wannabes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what about the subsidiary company? Oh, Amcon. That um, copy American and pasted. Yeah. Changed like, Remove like the first paragraph or something, and like one of the last two paragraphs, it's verbatim the same thing, and then just paste it onto their website. Mm -hmm. It just it, both of them came up in search when I was searching to see if it was in the news yet. It's not in the news cycle yet, but it will be interesting. Yep. I already know at least three outlets that are getting ready to run this. Oh, yeah, yep. What I didn't ask. So maybe, maybe not. We'll have it in the, it'll be in the pinned comment when it comes about. Okay. That way I can find out because I'm not going to find out right this instant. All right. Anyways. Anyways. We'll wrap up the show there. We're almost at 45 minutes, which has been the kind of our sweet spot lately. That's what I said from the beginning. I said an hour is too long. No, it has nothing to do with the episode length. It's been our sweet spot in topics and then coming to a logical conclusion our longer videos perform better than our short videos anyways so. happy friday but this will actually be monday's episode correct yep okay so it's friday for us and we're drinking for you and you guys can't drink because it's probably monday morning when you're listening to this and your commute to work and no they're sitting in mom's basement oh yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah drug addicts no unemployed yeah and right. unemployable yep that was my very next word. I was on the tip of my tongue, getting ready to roll off my tongue, and then you I got it, it for you. Yep. You're welcome. So we didn't even we didn't even yeah, you're empty well, now. I'm empty. Oh, so whatever. Thanks. You're welcome. Got like one little dribble up. Anyways. Anyways. Stuff. Visit our website. Okay. Do that. Goodbye. Bye.